Some four years ago on Talk, we asked the question, why not electric buses in inner city areas? And in fact, we used this very bus to examine that possibility. Four years is a long time for decisions like that to be made and taken, and yet we still don't have an answer to the question, why not electric buses for city areas? The people who built this bus have been asking the same question and still getting no realistic answers. Let's take a ride in it and see if we can find out what the objections might be. In terms of its general performance, this bus suffers very little in comparison with the buses we use now. Its major limitations are power and range, so consider that their intention would be to use an electric bus system only in the central business districts, where range and power are not a problem. And we have the advantage of quietness and smoothness over existing diesel buses, which makes it not only more pleasant for the passengers, but also for the drivers. The power range problems continue to stem from inadequate storage battery systems. In this bus, it is proposed that the batteries are replaced on a changeover system which takes not more than a few minutes, so that there is no downtime problem with recharging. Bear in mind, a, a bus is more than just coachwork and seats, which is what you can see. It is, in fact, it's mechanicals most important component at all as far as we're concerned, particularly with regard to the conservation of resources and lack of pollution. And that's where this bus begins and ends as far as I'm concerned. In terms of its general comfort, it's just as good as any other bus. There is no apparent reason why it should not be entirely successful, it seems to me, to be very practical. Now, let's see what the City Council has to say about it. The spokesman for the Council of the City of Sydney is the Lord Mayor, Alderman Nelson Mears. I asked him what the Council's attitude is to electric buses in the Sydney business area. We're most anxious and uh, we've made a commitment to the introduction to uh, electric buses in the City of Sydney uh, as soon as possible. We believe that the, uh, that technology is already available. Uh, I have ridden in a prototype bus which has been designed by Mr Leembraken, which we know uh, will we'll be able to negotiate the grades of the city and uh, we uh, recommend that it be introduced by the Public Transport Commission as soon as possible. Do you know what the current attitude is of the Public Transport Commission? No, I don't. The, the, there is no attitude so far as we're concerned. There has been no response. Uh, there is a need for an expenditure of a large amount of money because if we are going to have a city where uh, the private vehicle is not to enter to improve the uh, environment and eliminate pollution, then we must have uh, a system of buses which is so convenient that nobody is disadvantaged uh, by not being able to drive their car into the city. The Public Transport Commission gave us a similar no comment response, but directed us to the New South Wales Minister for Transport, Mr Peter Cox. There is a bus which was presented to the New South Wales and other state governments recently for evaluation. What was the Public Transport Commission's reaction to that? Well, I've travelled on the bus. Uh, there was a demonstration of the bus uh, in the city here. It's been um, technically examined by uh, the people uh, in the department. Uh, some of the deficiencies that uh, were discovered uh, were brakes, for example, uh, axle system, suspension and steering. And also the uh, step into the bus uh, we felt was too too high because of uh, problems that we have with elderly people and uh, basically um, uh, the bus is a demonstration bus um, I did um, write to the Transport Minister in Western Australia and the Transport Minister in South Australia uh, suggesting that um, we join together in a research of uh, this particular bus uh, but um, both those governments um, uh, we're not prepared to go ahead with that. Assuming that the difficulties are because this is a prototype unit, what are the chances of getting financial assistance to develop a second developmental bus? What you're suggesting to me is that, that the state government 
uh, should um, uh, make a financial commitment of about two million dollars uh, for a bus that's uh, that's not proven at the moment. Now, I've also got the taxpayers of this state to consider, and uh, uh, what you're suggesting to me is that uh, I should uh, go to Cabinet and make that financial commitment. Having gone to Cabinet, I doubt very much whether Cabinet would approve of it. What I think has got to happen is I think private enterprise has got to play a role in this area, and that, that uh, they've got to come up and, uh, and look at uh, new technology, because after all, that's what private enterprise, uh, whenever I talk to them, is that uh, they're always telling me that they're the ones that have got the new ideas and uh, that they get things moving, but uh, I haven't seen them doing too much in this area. And Supposing that there is a place in our future for electric buses, how far away might that be? Well, battery improvement will, I think, uh, bring a great advance to electric buses, because as you know, that if we had uh, electric buses running around the city, we'd have to have battery charging units established throughout the, um, the city. That uh, Some of our government buses travel long distances, and uh, these uh, electric buses, or this particular one, carries two tonnes of batteries, so that if you've got to renew the batteries, you've got to have a vehicle that comes down, it's got to be, the batteries have got to be lifted out, new batteries put in. Um, I'm not knocking electric vehicles. I think um, they're the coming thing, and I think that we've got to to look at this technique. But what I'm saying is that um, that the big advance that's going to occur is um, the British investigation into the new type of battery, which will uh, give a, a longer life as far as uh, peak hour is concerned. Minister, we've been waiting 20 or 30 years for a breakthrough with batteries. Assuming that breakthrough doesn't come, but that we can change batteries for short distance travel in the new style buses which are already possible, are we likely to see developments along those lines? Well, I'm establishing um, a committee in which Mr Hills will be on it, and uh, planning an environment, and um, uh, the Public Transport Commission to have a look at um, all of these aspects. But I think in relation to um, uh, electric buses that I think the federal government's got a role to play too. I, I don't think everything can be sort of uh, left to state governments to uh, uh, finance all the, uh, the transport needs. With city pollution levels as high as they are, the Australian taxpayer is being asked to pay the price of Design Rule 27A and increase fuel consumption. Surely electric buses which will help to remove those cars from city areas must have a high priority. Well look, I'm prepared to talk to anyone that's got ideas. I'm prepared to talk to Mr Limbruggen. Um, I'm even prepared that if he uh, puts a proposal up uh, to submit it to the federal body, which is the ATAC, which is a meeting of all transport ministers, state and federal. Now I'm prepared to do that for him so that uh, He'll at least get the uh, the bus uh, considered by uh, uh, all state transport ministers and the federal minister, and I'm prepared to do that for him if he does a proper documentation and um, submits it to me or comes in and sees me. That two million dollars the minister quoted is the price that's been stated for ten buses, not one, to do a second stage development on the. Roy Leenbruggen prototype bus would cost substantially less than that. And as for private enterprise making some sort of contribution, I would have thought they'd already done that. And at this stage, they need some sort of realistic encouragement. If there's to be substantial change in these areas, it seems to me that governments must be both proponents and sponsors of that change. <laughs>